What's good, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. Today, I'm going to be bringing you an off-day training routine. So, so far this week, today's Thursday. So far this week, I've had a push day, a pull day, and a leg day. I could have went back in today and did a full body day in the gym. The weather's a little shitty, or I could have trained at the park. But I decided to go through a little off-day mobility routine and show you guys how I train on an off-day. A much lesser intense routine. Pretty much no muscle damage is going to happen. Just going to work on some mobility, some isometric holds, and just some full range of motion exercises. So stay tuned. This is something you guys can do on your off day too when you want to lower the intensity. Just give your body a break. Remember, movement is important. If your body's feeling shot and run down, sitting at home isn't always the best option. Getting a little bit of blood flow and moving your body around is going to facilitate blood flow and help optimize recovery. Stay tuned. Follow along. This can be done by anybody, any level. Remember, this is just an off day mobility type training. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna start this routine off with some band drills. If you guys don't have a band, you guys could use a PVC pipe, a broomstick, whatever you guys have. I like to use a band for this, and I'm using a black band. Remember, this is my second lightest band. So we're gonna work on some hip mobility and shoulder mobility drills all in one. Now, we're gonna get into an overhead squat position. We're gonna pull the band. We're gonna have some tension on it. Feet just outside shoulder width. Now we're gonna squat down into a deep squat. We're gonna go as low as we can go. And then we're gonna to try to hold this overhead squat position the whole time. Don't bend your torso forward like this. You don't wanna do that. Everything up, head up, chest up. You wanna be engaging the scapula, engaging the erectors. Everything, your whole shoulder girdle is active. Your traps, stabilizer muscles to hold this position. This is gonna work on hip mobility as, long, as well as shoulder mobility. We're just gonna hold this for a few seconds, about 15, 20 seconds. From here, we're gonna come up halfway. Now listen, I want you guys to think about pushing your body down into the ground when you come up. That's how you're gonna activate the quads and get most contraction in the, in the quads and the leg muscles. Hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds, fully come up, squeeze the glutes while maintaining this overhead squat position with the band. We're gonna do that for one rep, come down, rest, another, rest about 30 seconds to a minute, do that two more times. So now that the shoulders and hips are warmed up, first thing we're gonna be working on are isometric handstand holds. But what we're gonna work on now is when we come down from the handstand, we're gonna control and tuck from the hips, crunch from the waist down, control it with our core, and control it down almost into a crunched tuck position. So we're gonna be just doing four sets, handstand hold, and remember, we're just gonna keep the intensity very low. We're just gonna be going for about a 10 second hold. Remember, this is an off day routine. That's the good thing about isometric training. Remember, holding a handstand hold is considered an isometric movement, right? Now, isometrics can be varied through intensity. You can increase the intensity by one, adding a load to your body, still holding that position. You could also increase the intensity by adding the time. You could hold longer and longer. You could decrease the rest periods. But now again, remember, handstand is a skill movement as well. So it's something that I found, in my opinion, you have to train often. So what I'm gonna do again, keeping the intensity low, just a 10 second handstand hold, coming down controlled from the core and the hips. Let's get it, four rounds. We're gonna take, again, nice two minute break here, keeping a nice slow paced environment right now. Let's get it.
All right, so you saw how I crunched from the hips and came down, keep my arms straight. That was set one. So that's two, three, four. My nervous system, my core is gonna get a little more activated and the control will get better. I'll rest two minutes, three more rounds. My body is feeling sore from the previous workouts throughout the week. I'm not trying to burn out. I'm not trying to fatigue the muscles anymore. I saw that my form was breaking down. Cut it down pretty short on that fourth set. Didn't even have good control. I'm gonna move on to some lower body mobility work. Isometric work again. Let's go. All right, so like always, we're gonna be working down. Remember, a very big component on working from head to toe and doing like full body type training. And this is gonna be like a full body type of mobility off day routine for me so we started with some upper body shoulder work now we're going to work naturally down to our lower body but we're going to start with our core and our lower back first before we hit our lower legs so what we're going to be doing now is an isometric superman hold but we're going to be doing it on a smaller surface this is going to be working core stabilization as well as glute activation the entire erector spine is going to be working the whole lower back the whole entire core remember your core is not just comprised of your abs your core comprised your front your side, the obliques, the lower back, all that is considered core. And remember, we're gonna be squeezing our glutes. Our glutes are gonna be activated, our hamstrings. So it's a very simple movement, but it's challenging because you gotta think about it. You gotta hold a nice position. A lot of muscle, a lot of muscles are gonna be engaged. So remember, we're gonna be holding again, 10 to 15 seconds, four rounds. So another way I like to do this exercise, besides doing it as an isometric hold, is doing it more of as a dynamic movement. Remember, dynamic movement is going to involve some movement, isometric, no movement. Now this is not going to be breaking down muscle fibers, this is just going to work core activation and teaching you how to engage and disengage the working muscle. So instead of holding an isometric hold now, we're going to be doing some reps. 10 reps, Superman up and downs. Watch. Now that dynamic movement is a lot harder than doing the isometric because when you come down, you lose engagement of the muscles and you have to re-engage, activate the core again, and you have to keep the core activated the whole time or else you're gonna fall off the bench. Remember, being on a small surface like this is gonna force core stabilization throughout the whole movement. The glutes are gonna become a little disengaged when you come down, but then you have to reactivate when you come back up into lockout. So two sets of each, four sets total, let's go.
on down the body. Now we're gonna get on to some lower body specific mobility and isometric work. This is gonna be a unilateral movement. We're gonna be working single leg pistol squats now. But we're gonna be working deep range of motion. And we're gonna get into it in assisted variation. So look, my park has these three pegs. You guys could use a bench, you guys can stack up books to make the height hot higher. The higher the height, the deeper the range of motion, the longer stretch you're gonna get in the quad. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go on my highest peg. I'm gonna work the left leg first. Look, we're gonna come down. We're gonna put all our weight, all our pressure on our quad right here. Raise the right leg, balance. What we're gonna do, come up to 90 degrees and then lock out. One rep, switch legs. Shift our weight, all the working, all the weight on the working leg. Lift the non-working leg, balance, come up to 90 degrees, and then lock out, balance, squeezing the glutes, everything. Just one rep on each leg. We're gonna rest about two minutes. Repeat for three sets total. Remember, this is gonna get a little bit of contraction in the muscle. You're going from full eccentric to lockout. What we're avoiding now is the eccentric part of the movement. Remember, the eccentrics cause the most muscle damage. So we're avoiding the eccentric. This would be the eccentric portion of the rep. Going down and then coming up. But we're avoiding the eccentric. So we're getting into it at the lowest position already. And we're just coming out of the hole. So rest down two minutes. I'm gonna do two more sets each leg. Let's go. sets of the isometric pistol holds done now we're gonna go into one more exercise this is gonna be a full upper body mobility you guys have seen this numerous times we're gonna go and skin the cats so you guys know I like to work top to bottom and then bring the blood flow back up so we start with a shoulder workout then we hit a little bit of core lower back then we went down to legs now we're gonna bring the blood back up hit core upper body all together so skin the cats also they're gonna get the blood flowing throughout the whole body because we're gonna be going in a 360 motion so End the routine, skin the cats. Three sets, three reps. We're gonna get a nice stretch, full range of motion. Let's go. last exercise we're going to be doing exercise you guys have probably done 100 times when you were a kid you guys have seen me doing similar movement like this in my previous video when i was working on grip strength and another off day video when i was doing 
the passive hang. Remember, passive hang is a movement, it's just a hang with no movement, right? Active hang is when you start engaging the scapula. So now we're gonna be doing dynamic hangs, also known as, known as we're gonna be going across the monkey bars. Arms are gonna be loose, we're gonna be hanging, and we're gonna be going bar to bar. We're gonna be going four bars at a time, as many times as we can back and forth. Three sets of this, let's go. done rest like two minutes hit two more sets and that'll be a wrap all right guys that's a wrap for the full body off day routine did a lot of mobility work worked a lot of shoulder mobility lower body hip range of motion working on the full range of motion in our pistol squats opening up the hips working on core engagement stabilization again this is a low intensity workout that you guys can do on your off day the day that you're not feeling a hundred percent or just when you guys are on a deload week also you should do this kind of often it's good to keep these mobility sessions in it's good to stay mobile and be able to flow through your range of motion with ease so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said try it out leave a comment don't forget like and subscribe if you haven't already and like always peace out bar naturals and they all love to talk you know they do that shit the most think you on my level boy but you ain't even close